Hola, familia de humanidad. Hello, family humanity. Salut, la familia de humanité. Today, we are here at Washaktung. Right now, I'm in the entry of uh, group D and E. And I will tell you more about the story of Washaktung, a city that was really close to Tikal and tried to separate from Tikal but was not able to do so. So let me tell you the story of Washaktum. Hello, family humanity. It's your brother, Wallace. And I'm here at Washaktung, also spelled sometime Washaktung. It's pronounced the same way, but it's spelled completely different. Washaktung is a Maya city in the Betang region in Guatemala. It's 19 kilometers north of Tikal. You actually take the same road. You go to Tikal and then you go further and you arrive at Washaktun. Google will tell you an hour and six minutes from Remate, which is the village um, at the beginning, beginning of this road. But to go to Washaktun, it's actually an hour and 30 minutes, maybe an hour and 40 minutes, because the road is not in good condition. Now, with our recent understanding of the hieroglyphic of the Maya text, we know that this city, modern day name Washaktun, ancient name was Sian Kahan, meaning born in heaven. The modern day name Washaktun was given by the archaeologist Silvanus Morley who rediscovered the site in 1916, he decided to name it Washak Tung because Washak Tung are two Mayan name or Mayan word meaning the eighth stone. And this was like a, a commemoration because this is the first site where they found an inscription dating back from the eighth Baktung in the Maya calendar. Let me explain you what is a Baktun. Washaktun was occupied for a very long time. It was occupied from the pre-classic period around 900 BC until the classic Maya collapse in the 900 AD. Sadly, a lot of city collapsed around that time. And because of the proximity of, of uh, Tikal, we know quite a lot of the history of Washaktun. The first human activity here in Washaktun date pre-Mamun times. They found broken ceramics. But the first major construction date from the Mamun phase 500 BC to 350 BC and those are rectangular and circular platform. They were on the side of the astronomical pyramids. We can see them today. I can show it to you but they are not excavated so you'll need to use your imagination. Still a three mention the founding 
or the founder of Washaktung called Wakab Aja. And you can say it's a coincidence, but the founding of Washaktun was around 300 BC. And around that same date, 300 BC, we have the first triadic construction south of the group E, the group that we are in at this moment. So this is the first major construction, and it's at the same time as the founding of Washaktun. This formed the first Acropolis here in Washaktun. From 300 BC to 378 AD, so we're talking 678 years, construction here in Washaktun was the main focus. But then a really special event happened. If you've watched the other video, you might know what happened in 378 AD. But that event changed everything here in Washaktun and many other Maya sites also. We now arrive at the year 378 AD. And this is an event that affected many Maya sites. Archaeologists call this event the entrance because this is when Siyaj entered the Betang region and he went directly to Tikal, influenced Tikal, took over Tikal. He started to control everything going on at Tikal and that's when he forced Tikal to come here in Washaktun to conquer Washaktun. And there's a stila, stila number five here that tells the story of this Teotihuacan warrior or noble or ruler. I don't know exactly who was Siyaj Kak, but it tells the story of Siyaj Kak arriving in Tikal. So after Siyaj Kak conquered Tikal, forced Tikal to come here to conquer Huashaktum, when he arrived here, the story says that he decided to sacrifice the ruling family. So the Teotihuacan people, they were not playing games. When they were conquering a place, they were taking over. So imagine in 378 AD, he conquered Tikal, forced Tikal to come here with him, conquer Washaktun, arrive here, sacrifice the, the ruling family in Washaktun. And after that, it became even more prosperous in Washaktun because Siyaj Kak was really focused and he had the backing of Teotihuacan. So a lot of construction were started. Group A and B that we can see in the other video of the tour site was built because it wasn't there before he arrived. New stila were erected also. So he arrived here, took over, but he also leveled up the city of Washaktun. Group A would be built. New roads would be built. The West Plaza would be built. The Group D saw an increase in construction. And Group B saw an increase in population. So the arriving of Siyaj Kak was negative in a certain way because the people living here before his arrival were living peacefully, probably. But then this guy came, disrupted everything, but he also brought with him a lot of focus, a lot of vision, and he put everyone to work to make this Washaktun city a lot bigger than it was. Then we jump into the terminal classic period. This is a time when almost every Maya city collapsed. But in Washaktun, the political activities continued. 
there were two stella that were erected at that time. Stella number 12 and stella number 13. The stela number 13 was erected in 830 AD and it refers to a war. Which war? We don't know. The, the stela is not in good quality enough or wasn't in good quality enough to read exactly which war are they talking about. And then we have stela number 12 which was erected in 889 AD. This refers to an act that happened with the ruler, the last ruler of Tikal. We don't know more, but there was an act done with Washaktung, with the last ruler of Tikal. And this is stila number 12. This is the last stila that was erected in all the Maya history here in Washaktung. After that, like many other city, like Tikal also, that is only 20 kilometers away from here, everything collapsed. And in 950 AD, everything was abandoned completely. And this is the end of the story of Washaktun. Family Humanity, muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. It's always a pleasure to share with you the story of the Maya civilization. And I'm just getting started here because I'm in Guatemala and there's hundreds of other temples in Mexico. This is where I'm going in maybe a month. Yeah, in a month I will be in Mexico. But for now, I just want to thank you for listening to this channel, listening to me sharing my passion, sharing a little bit of history about ancient civilization taking action to spreading this beautiful knowledge that is on this earth. It was the main way of living at one point in time in this world, in the jungle, in symbiosis with nature, using the natural force, using the natural material, rocks, to build wonderful temples. So muchas gracias. If you like the video, if you learned something, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe because this is not my last video. I'm telling you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. But you stay blessed. You stay awesome. You stay lovely. You stay beautiful like you are. You stay pure. And you become so ordinary that you become extraordinary. I love you, family, and I'll see you in the next video.